Tony Stewart getting up and against Kurt Busch. A lot of emotion here, a lot of temper, a lot of temper, a lot of emotion. Oh, yeah. A lot of aggression. This is typical Richmond. Yep. This little deal here, it's not over just yet. But I, it's okay. Look, we've been rubbing all night long. What's a little rubbing after the race? They're not hurting anything. Let's see what happens here. Oh. Oh, he took Stewart out of the groove. Yeah, he got up underneath him, pushed him up the hill, and when he did, everybody went by. Cost him four or five spots there. Now here's Kenseth on the outside, tries to come down track. He gets get to the back bumper. No harm, no oh, foul right no. there. He did he did get into Amendinger. I mean, Matt was like, I'm coming through, get out of the way. Now right here he pushes Kurt oh, up yeah. out of the yeah. There's where he pushed Kurt up out of the groove. And he gets seventh while Kurt ends up ninth behind Almarola. Kurt didn't like that. He goes down here and gives the 20 car a little shot. That's okay. That's, yeah, that's I didn't like what you I didn't like what you did, but that's okay. Yeah. Opinions expressed out on the racetrack carried it over here in the garage. And Kurt, your conversation between your yourself and Tony Stewart, what took place? We'll get to that in a minute. I mean, for us, this was a solid run with our furniture row car. We were there. We were top five all night. Uh, some guys cycled ahead of us. Some guys, you know, we were able to get back by on long runs. So all in all, a great night for us to be in the top five, have restarts up front, and lead some laps. And then you could just tell. I mean, green, white, checker, everybody's going to put on tires. Some guys are going to do two. Some guys stayed out. And it's just a free-for-all. I mean, uh, there's rubber buildup in the outside groove. There's cars sliding up with old tires. So I don't know what the 14 was upset about. I got hit from behind. I got hit every which way. So did he. Uh, Kenseth moves, moved us up out of the way at the end. So that's why I was upset with him. But hey, you know, everybody's free for all. We got a top 10. But the biggest thing here is 10 laps ago, this car didn't have a scratch on it. Now it's destroyed. When you look at this race today, what are you going to take away as you continue to build with this entire operation? Just uh, being able to, to work together through sequences of the race. And today, uh, we didn't quite have the best handling car, but we worked with it in the top five, and we hoped that the race would come to us. Today, it just didn't pan out. Uh, but today was a great day to be in the top five, post the top 10. And, uh, you know, we got to go for wins. That's where we're going to be able to make the chase and be in the top 20 in points.